promoting the full and open sharing of data in a way that can generate exciting discoveries and innovative applications is one of NASA's core values. I wonder what percentage of NASA's data is classified. Can anyone answer that question? What do you got for me? Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Well, this is space. There's space all over the place. Hell yeah! We're flying now! And this is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Well, this is interesting news, ladies and gentlemen. NASA, America's space agency, has decided to make public all scientific publications. Wow, that's neat. That's awfully nice of them. Our publicly funded space agency has decided to go public. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Right, this was posted August 21st, 2016. NASA has opened an online portal, making all scientific research it funds freely available to all. Asterisk. I don't get the feeling that classified stuff is going to be public, but we shall see. America's Space Agency has just launched a new web portal that hosts a treasure trove of scientific publications and digital data with free online access to the public. Science Alert reports the free online archive comes in response to a new NASA policy, which requires that any NASA-funded research articles in peer-reviewed journals be publicly accessible within one year of publication. Yeah, a lot of times, that awesome science gets hidden behind paywalls, so even though you've already paid for the science, you gotta pay for the science again to read it, which is mildly confusing, but hey, that's modern capitalism and modern science. At NASA, we are celebrating this opportunity to extend access to our extensive portfolio of scientific and technical publications, said NASA Deputy Administrator Dave Newman. Through open access and innovation, we invite the global community to join us in exploring Earth, air, and space. The database is called PubSpace. It's where you can come on down, have a pint, and fill your brain with some wonderful NASA science, I guess. And the public can access NASA-funded research articles in it by searching for whatever they're interested in, or just by browsing all the NASA-funded papers. I wonder what's going to happen when I type in Planet X or Eris. I haven't taken a photo of Eris for like 10 years, which is fascinating. I'm very curious why. Why NASA? What is wrong with Eris? What don't you want us to know? Making our research data easier to access will greatly magnify the impact of our research, said NASA Chief Scientist Ellen Stofan. As scientists and engineers, we work by building upon a foundation laid by others. Right now, there are some 861 research articles in the database. Wow, that's it? From like 50 years of NASA? Comes out to about 15 a year, maybe. 17 a year. Right now, there are some 861 research articles in the database, and you can expect that number to keep rising as NASA-funded researchers get on board with the new policy. As you'd expect, there's an enormous spread of research already on offer, ranging from exercise routines to maintain health during long-duration space missions to the prospects for life on Titan. See, guys, I told you so, and the risk of miscarriage for flight attendants exposed to cosmic radiation. Oh, man, that's, that's sad. All of this is now free for researchers or anybody with an interest in science to check out and download. A welcome change from when much of the science was locked behind a paywall. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty lame, bro. But not all NASA-funded research can be found in the archive. Some data are excluded from the DMP policy. Patents, publications that contain material governed by personal privacy, export control, proprietary restrictions, or national security law or regulations, and other classified information are all exempt. Yeah, classified stuff, man. Classified stuff is not in pub space. I wonder what percentage of NASA's data is classified. Can anyone answer that question? NASA's move comes in response to a 2013 request from the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, which directed major science funding agencies to come up with ways of increasing access to the results of publicly funded research. In February 2013, the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy issued the Increasing Access to the Results of Federally Funded Government Research Memorandum. This memorandum requires agencies that receive more than $100 million per year in government research funding to make their data and publications more accessible to the public. Oh, okay, so the White House had to poke NASA with a stick to allow all the safe public info. Wonderful. It also follows a growing general trend towards more openness in science research and academia more broadly. Wait, science is for the people. Why would you have to crowbar the stuff open to get the access, especially when the public paid for it? That confuses me. With frustration stemming over commercial control wielded by the companies who own most of the academic publishing. Oh, 
corporations and universities working together to bring you a better future. Asterisk. Sad face. Some researchers are bypassing established journals altogether by uploading their work directly to the internet. Others are illegally sharing scientific papers online in a dramatic bid to spread knowledge. Yeah, arrest those fools. That guy was sharing his research online with the public. Throw him in jail. Not really. Can't have that now, can we? At the same time, there are calls in Europe to make all published science funded by public free. That would be awesome. You get what you paid for. The same logic is what's behind NASA's new portal. And even the space agency itself could benefit from the initiative, which will help it keep track of the research it's funding more easily. This will be the first time that NASA's had all of their publications in one place. So we estimate what our publication rate is for the agency, but this will actually be able to tell us what it is. What? But this will actually be able to tell us what it is. NASA's Deputy Chief Scientist Gail Allen told Samantha Hellinger at FedScoop, and we'll be able to show even further what we're doing with taxpayer dollars. Yeah, great. So the government told them to kind of at least open up a little to the public, and they did. They gave us a carrot. All right, let's gnaw down on it. Anybody got any salt and ranch dressing? I don't know why this doesn't have me too excited. That's too bad. Anyway, in next article, we'll go look at the pub space and see what they have to offer, and then try and figure out what isn't public. All right, God bless everyone. NASA conducts and supports research not just in space and aeronautics, but also in heliophysics, astrophysics, earth and planetary sciences, life and physical sciences, health and technology development. The agency has a long-standing history of sharing its data with research communities and private industry, as well as the general public. 